Hi, welcome to Yoga Chill. Really nice, relaxing class for you today, slow moving, all based um, on the mat, no standing poses. So definitely grabbing um, a couple of blocks and a couple of cushions would be really good for today. And we're going to start in a cross-legged position, so you may want to pop a cushion underneath each knee. If you do have quite a few blocks available and if you'd like to use quite a lot of props, then um, there will be an opportunity to kind of have a super wonderful supported um, pose at the very end. And the extras that you would need for that alongside your, your cushions and your blocks are potentially a blanket and then a yoga bolster. So if you don't have a yoga bolster, you can um, swap this out by um, grabbing a pillowcase and stuffing two to three pillows inside of one pillowcase and that works just as well um, or just extra pillows and cushions could also work in this particular situation um, but the two cushions and the block is what you're definitely going to need so coming to start in a cross-legged position and maybe popping the cushions underneath the knees even if you know you're really really comfortable um, in a cross-legged position anyway trying it out, seeing what it feels like with that extra support in there. It can feel really nice sometimes for the body to not have to do any holding on or anything like that. This is a restorative class. It's a chilled out class. So giving your body the opportunity to do that, to relax. And then allowing the eyes to come to a close when you're ready. Hands can come into any position that feels good. So they can be palm up, one on top of the other. They can be palms down on the knees. You'll notice that palms down gives more of a, a grounding sensation than perhaps palms up does. Palms up perhaps feels a bit more um, open. So there's no right or wrong here, having a little play around and seeing what it is that feels right for you today. Only you know what kind of day it's been like for you, what it is that you want to get out of this class. Taking a little moment to check in with yourself on the kind of emotional and a mental level. So, um, you know, how are you, how are you feeling today? How's this week been? Are you tired, happy, exhausted, frustrated? What's going on in your body today? Does it feel sluggish, tight? Are there areas where you've been experiencing discomfort or pain? What's your breath like today? Have you, have you even noticed your breath today? Sometimes the days are so busy, so hectic, we don't think about it. Allowing yourself to notice that now. What's the 3D nature of your breath like? What parts of the body move when you inhale? What parts move when you exhale? How does it change shape? If you notice that as you inhale and exhale, the shoulders are moving up and down, Maybe seeing if you can bring your breath into kind of the lower rib area, the back of the body. How does it feel different breathing into this bit of the body compared to high up in the chest?
Maybe you want to have a go at breathing into the belly, maybe even bringing a hand onto the belly. And as you inhale, noticing a very subtle expansion of the belly as it allows the, the lungs to really fill up, the diaphragm to draw down. And then as you exhale, maybe the belly just slightly moves away from the hand as you exhale. Noticing these really subtle shifts in the body that allow all this oxygenated and nourishing air to enter the body. Reaching all of the muscles that might be tired, all of the places that might have been feeling stressed. And as you exhale, the body works to release and remove things that it doesn't need anymore, things that feel stuck or stagnant the waste gases. Maybe emotionally as you exhale, allowing some of the things that you don't need to leave the body. So there's this constant cycle of renewing going on with our breath. Every inhale brings in the fresh, the new, and every exhale releases and lets go of the things that we don't need. Take in a few more breaths in whatever way feels good, noticing what's going on for you as you breathe in and out. And on your next inhale, allowing the eyes to really gently open, bringing a hand onto each knee, and then tucking the chin, rounding the spine and kind of pulling back the hands around the knees. It's almost like we're coming through cat cow in this seated position. As you inhale, pulling against the knees to draw the chest forward in between the arms, the shoulders move down, the shoulder blades draw together. Maybe the gaze lifts. Exhaling. Body moves backwards, spine rounds, chin tucks. Inhaling. Body moves forward, shoulder blades draw together and down the back, chest opens. Breathing in new energy, breathing in fresh air. Coming through once more, exhaling. Tucking, rounding, stretching out the back of the body. Inhaling, opening up the front of the body, finding broadness across the chest. And then back to center. From here, grabbing hold of your cushions and stacking them on top of the, one on top of the other. And bringing the legs out in front so the cushions are underneath the knees. Holding on to the knees to draw the spine up tall. And then as you exhale, if you want to, you can stay as you are, or option to begin to kind of tip forward over the legs. So taking and allowing your roundness through the spine. So a little bit different to how sometimes we do folds where we're opening up the back of the legs and keeping the, the legs straight. So we're kind of allowing softness in the body here. Upper body, lower body, you can hold onto the feet. 
the head can come down. It doesn't matter how far you come down. And then allowing your eyes to close, taking a few breaths in. Taking one more breath in this nice relaxing fold. And then inhaling, if you've taken a fold, really slowly walking the hands back up the legs and removing the cushions from underneath. Keeping the cushions handy. Opening up the right leg, bringing the sole of the left foot towards the right thigh. So the legs are nice and wide open here. And then inhaling, finding length through the spine. As you exhale, bringing the right hand to the left knee. Left hand comes behind the body to come into a little twist. So up to you how far you want to twist here. Again, you can close the eyes, you can really feel into the spaces in the body. And we'll stay here for a couple more breaths. Maybe as you exhale, there's space for you to twist a little further. You can keep that left hand on the ground. You can tuck it behind the back if you want, kind of into the hip crease on the right thigh. Inhaling, finds your way back to center. And now we're gonna come into a little side stretch. So option here to slide the right hand down the leg and then open up with the left hand, either reaching up to the sky or maybe it comes over to the right as well, palm facing down. You don't have to go as far here. You can have your hand on the thigh, you can Sort of have your, um, your elbow bent and have your head in your hand. If you've got cushions, you can pop those down and also find a little place here. So this is all about making it as cosy and as comfortable as you possibly can. Not feeling like you've got to be anywhere in particular. Inhaling, rising back up. And then cushions come in front of the body now and taking a little fold forwards. So this can be a really tiny fo uh, fold if you want to. You can stay seated if you want to. If you are folding forwards, leading with the chest. And again, using your cushions, you can come down onto elbows. And if you want to, you can tuck the chin once you get there. If you're feeling a bit more open, you can remove either one or both cushions and you can come down onto elbows on the ground. So really having a little feel into where your body wants to be.
couple more breaths wherever you are. On your next inhale, walking the hands back up if you took that fold, cushions off to one side. And then gently using your left hand to guide the left knee back up. And bring the right foot in. Maybe you want to bring the hands behind the body, take a little shake of the feet before we come to the other side. So we'll do the same on the other side. So opening up that left leg so it's a little wider. And then bending the right knee in, opening up the right knee so that the sole of the right foot comes against the left thigh. And getting yourself comfortable here. Taking a moment to sit up tall through the spine. And then exhale, left hand comes to right knee, right hand behind the body, coming into your twist. So really grounding down through both sit bones here. And this twist is as deep as you want it to be. The gaze can be to your right side, it can be over the right shoulder. And if you want to, you can lift that right hand from the ground, you can take it into a little half bind, tuck it behind the back into the left hip crease. Otherwise feel free to leave it where it is. One more breath in this twist. On your next inhale, slowly rotating away, finding your way back to centre. We'll come over into that side stretch. So it might feel different on this side. Have a little feel into what you might need. Maybe bring in the cushions nearby in case you want them. So you can slide that left hand down the left leg if you want. Inhale, reaching the right arm up, maybe overhead, so palm facing down. So no pressure here for the right arm to have to come too far. If you notice the chest closing in, then that means you've gone a little bit too far if you notice it closing. So um, come a bit further up so the chest can be open. Again, you can bring the, um, you can bend the left elbow, bring in the head into the left hand. You can use your cushions to kind of find a nice halfway point for that one. That's super cozy. So wherever feels good, if you've comfortably got a bind around the foot, you can take it. We'll take one more breath wherever you are. Inhaling, rising back up. And then cushions in front, taking a, a fold forwards here. So finding some length through the spine, and then as you exhale, leading with the chest, coming forward, only if you want to, you can stay seated if you want, you can come onto elbows, onto your cushions. If you want, you can allow the upper body to be heavy, you can allow the chin to tuck, And of course, you can move one or both pillows coming down all the way onto elbows if that's better. So 
So feeling into this for a couple more breaths. On your next inhale, if you've taken a forward fold, walking the hands back up and then bringing the cushions off to one side, hand underneath the right knee and bringing the legs out in front, little shake of the legs. From here, scoot into about halfway up your mat and then coming to lower down on your back, making sure you've got a block handy um, at the side. So bringing the feet to the floor, the knees are bent, hands down by the side of the body and getting the feet to about hips width apart and then seeing if you can just about touch the back of the heels with the fingertips. So if you can tickle the back of the heels with the fingers, then you're in the right spot. We're going to come into a supported bridge from here. So pressing into the feet lifting the hips and then you can pop your block whichever way around feels best so if you've got a block like this for example you can put it width way around underneath the hips you'll kind of get a feeling for where the, the comfortable spot is or if you're feeling a bit more open in the spine then you can put it lengthways round underneath the hips now be mindful if you put a block lengthways round because that becomes quite a big back bend so I would only suggest that if you know you have quite an open back and if that feels comfortable when you get there. And then you can kind of allow the rest of the body to sink down and be supported by the block. So we'll take a couple more breaths here. Maybe you have the palms facing up. Maybe you open the arms a little wider. And of course, if you don't have a block, you can use cushions. Or you can either, even bring hands underneath hips. So there are options if you have ended up without any props. One more breath here in supported bridge. And then maybe rising up a little bit with the hips, you can come up onto the tiptoes if you want, just so you can release the block. And then lowering down one vertebrae at a time, all the way down to the ground. Lifting the feet from the floor. Hands come in between the knees, it's going to take a happy baby. So you can hold on to either the outsides or the insides of the feet, whatever feels best. And then bringing the feet up to the sky, keeping the knees bent, drawing the knees down towards the armpits. Keeping the head relaxed on the ground. And the feet are flexed here as you hold on to them. If you're on a soft floor, you might want to take a little rock side to side. If you're on a hard floor, that might not feel so good. But feel free to take a little rock if that's nice. A little massage for your lower back. And then on your next inhale, releasing the feet, 
allowing them to come down to the ground. And from here, taking a little windscreen wiper with the legs. So over to one side, over to the other side. And when they come over to the right side, pausing for a moment here, taking a little spinal twist. You can bring the left arm out to the side and gaze over the left hand. And then on your next inhale, head comes back to centre, legs back to centre, exhaling they come over to the other side, so to the left. And you can bring that right arm out to the side and gaze over the right hand. Taking one more breath in your spinal twist. And then inhaling, head back to centre, legs back to centre. And we're going to take Sukta Baddha Konasana for our Shavasana today. So there's a couple of options for taking this. You can stay on the ground if you're super cosy down here and you just want to be where you are. If that's the case, you bring in soles of the feet together and a cushion underneath each knee so that you can support the legs. And then the arms can come out to the side or they can come up overhead. If you'd like to take a kind of a supported Baddha if you have the extra props, so the ones we were talking about at the beginning, the bolster and the blanket and the, the blocks, then I'll show you how to set up for that. So you'll bring yourself up to seated. Whatever two blocks you've got, you want one lengthways, one widthways. It's just to provide a support for the bolster. Then you're popping your bolster or whatever replacement you've got so that it leans over the top. Obviously, you want to make sure that's nice and secure. If you want to, you can fill, if you've got quite a thick bolster like I have, the space at the bottom with a blanket, up to you. And then we're coming into Sutta Baddha Konasana with this extra kind of cushioning support. So leaning back, feet come together, knees open. And as always, bringing those cushions beneath the legs so that they can open up to the side, no gripping on the hip flexors. And then from here, you may decide that you want to open up the arms. And as you do that, if you're on something like a bolster, you'll notice maybe there's a little bit more opening across the chest. If for any reason it doesn't feel good to have the legs apart like this, then do feel free to bring feet to the ground, knees together, and you can still have that openness through the chest that way instead. So taking a version of this pose that feels right for your body, that um, is what it needs today, and somewhere where you can feel really cosy and comfortable for a few minutes. Allowing your eyes to close and checking in with how you're feeling now at the end of class.
What do you feel like emotionally and mentally? What does your body feel like physically? How does it feel to be in this open position? Finding some softness through the forehead, space in between the eyebrows, the jaw, how does that impact how the neck and shoulders feel? Releasing and relaxing in the hands, in the hips. Completely letting go. For these next few minutes, you don't need to hold onto anything. If you're able to remain here for a couple of minutes longer, please give yourself permission to do so. Giving your body rest, allowing space to open up. And taking these few precious moments before life jumps back to normal and the day gets rolling again. Thank you for practicing with me today. Namaste.